Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. The trouble women have with men they previously rejected. And this is a real issue. Uh, and ladies, I know y'all been through this. I know I already know what the men think about it. Because that's a common uh, theme in many men's circles about, you know, women. They felt, you know, when they were younger, women that they felt re rejected them, you know, for the, you know, as they say, the alpha or, you know, the real handsome man, whatever. They rejected them. And then all of a sudden the women want them years later. All right. You know, and especially after the, you know, the feeling is the women might be pregnant or have kids. Well, you know, had kids or, you know, had a lot of emotional baggage. And, you know, the worst thing in a man's eyes is she's not as attractive as she was when she was younger. So that's a big thing. But I want to look at that uh, from another angle because I know it's a re reality. Ladies, I I've known y'all done this. I've personally experienced this. Now, not to the extent of uh, what many men have, but I've experienced a woman who might have rejected me at one point, of several women who rejected me at one point, and then, you know, there was a change all of a sudden. I, I couldn't get rid of them. And, you know, because I've said before, anybody who follows my men's channel know I always promote the uh, body game. Now, I, I remember I, I said at one point, like when I was younger, I wouldn't even say I was muscular and big. I was just big. And I wasn't sloppy with it, carried it, you know, still got some play behind it, you know, but not as much. So there were plenty of women, you know, because I was a big dude. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't, uh, like I said, it was it was more like, I'd say, football lineman big, you know, or fullback big. But, you know, it wasn't like super cut or anything like that. So there was a lot of women. Yeah, they were kind of cool. They were like, all right, because, you know, I had other things going for me. All right, so, you know, they were friend zoned me, and shoot, there were times I took a woman over some other dude's place, you know, her cousin. <laughs> y'all know how y'all do, but I definitely wasn't getting the same attention. But then when I went through this uh, application process for this uh, federal agency, I had to drop a lot of weight. My body got tight. I was doing body, you know, body weight exercises and push-ups because they had to do a certain amount of push-ups, sit-ups. And also, I had to be able to uh, run a couple miles in under a certain amount of time. All right? So, my body got tighter. All of a sudden, a lot of, a lot of women who might have even gone out with me before, they were looking at me in a different light. They were like, hey, hey. <laughs> so, you know, and so it wasn't as bad because uh, with me, honestly, when that happened, the women hadn't changed too much physically. So it wasn't like a major thing. None of them had kids, and their body types were pretty much the same. They were still, and they were still young, because the change wasn't that like drastic. You're talking like maybe within a period of four years, which ain't drastic when you think about it, right? Or really even less than that, like a two to three year period where I might have between the time I might have dealt with them and got with them later, right? So I didn't have a major thing, but I understood it. Underst I understood it, and it was no major repercussion. And, of course, women have a trouble if they reject a man and, you know, didn't want to deal with him. Then they try to get with him 10, years, 10 15 years later, and, you know, they got children. They've, um, you know, you don't have that same optimal shape anymore, right? But here's the real, here's a bigger problem. Here's a bigger problem, bigger issue, and this is kind of, I'm giving it to you from a male point of view, but see, understand, I understand where y'all coming from. Okay, so say you meet a guy when he was younger. Now, no matter what he think he got going on, there was something about him you weren't feeling or you would have got with him. You know, he might have become off as socially awkward. He might not have had, like, you know, that body build that you like. You know, a lot of things. He might, he might have had zero style, right? 
He might have had zero style. So you just weren't feeling him. I mean, you weren't even trying to be mean about it. Shoot, you might not even have gone out with him. At least in my case, the women did go out with me, so it wasn't as bad, but you might not even even gone out with the guy. Okay, that's understandable. But then that same guy goes through a period of self-improvement, right? That guy goes through a period of self-improvement. He, you know, he hits the gym. You know, he's listening he's listening to Uncle Rom. He's hit the gym. You know, he's dealt with like maybe some dental issues. You know, he might have had braces in that time you didn't see him. He might have gotten some braces. You know, got his teeth together, shoot, got a decent barber, all of that. You know, got his uh, economic thing together, his money. Because I understand what it is with the money, just as a tangent. A lot of guys think it's just the money, but women are naturally attracted to a man who can get resources and gives the energy of giving resources. So I understand that. So he's developed his work ethic and everything. Basically, he's just a better man. And so, and then if you see, you hadn't seen him in years, it's really almost like you've seen him for the first time. Indeed, in some cases, I've heard of cases where a woman like, ran into somebody that they used to know and then, um, or had rejected and then he changed. They don't even recognize, they'd be like, it's, that's you? And you pleasantly surprised and, you know, it's like, oh, okay. But here's the trouble, though. Here's the trouble, and I kind of alluded to it. When I first started this podcast, here is the trouble. That many men don't let that previous rejection go. And even even if even if you haven't changed too much physically, many men hold on to that. Now, understand something. Understand something. Sometimes it was because you were mean. And I, I hope y'all understand that. Like, that's one thing I've told women. I tell women, if you got to reject that guy, be as nice as possible about it. You know? You know, don't try to use him or anything. But he re- he remembers that. He remembers that's one thing. But what if it's a situation you really just was sincerely not attracted to him and you were nice as possible about not wanting to see him? You might even say it to him, hey, you know, we just friends. You know, the trouble is... The trouble is, it really he really still thinking that. Now I ain't saying just go out with every single guy. If he, if he don't meet your thing, he don't meet your he don't meet your thing. That's it. But I'm just telling you now, this is what he's thinking. You know, he's feeling like, oh, this woman rejected me. Even if she, even if you were really righteous in your rejection, and even if you were nice about, it, he's still thinking he rejected me. Now I ain't gonna tell y'all. And I'm just telling you, understand something. Me telling you this, I'm just telling you what it is. That's it. That's what I'm telling you what it is. I ain't going to tell you, oh, yeah, just grab up a guy because he was real nerdy or something like that because you don't know if he's going to change. I'm just going to be real with you, you know. And fortunately, there's a, lot of, there's a whole lot of guys out there who, if they one way when they're 20, there's a good chance they're going to be the same way at 30, you know. There's a good chance anyway, so I ain't going to say that's bad or whatever. It is what it is. All I'm doing is telling you, you know, all I'm doing is telling you what's happening. Now, the only way maybe some younger women can hear that, try try if you got to reject them, make sure it's very good reasons because they could be something like later on you see them and you're like, oh, he's wild, you know, he's great and everything, but, you know, he's still thinking about that. That's the only thing I can really tell, tell especially the young women. For the older women, you come across that guy, you know, just understand that's where you're coming from. Now, you know, you might feel bad, you might feel all of this for him, but just, and I'm just saying, just understand that. You know, because the thing with men, the thing with men is we get a lot of rejections. It really uh, takes a pounding on our egos, you know, and we don't really, we don't really forget and sometimes you might just see that guy, and honestly, you might be better off just introducing him to a friend or just wishing him luck and just moving on. Seriously. That's, and that's just a reality of it. And that's why I'm saying this is why. This is why. We don't, we men, we don't forgive that easily. We really don't. And I'm just saying that's it. I mean, honestly, the best thing to do if you see a guy like that is just, you know what, maybe talk, if depending on the nature of y'all friendship, say, hey, how you doing? Let's get good luck in life, you know? 
Don't force yourself or don't chase because now if he chases you, still wants you anyway, hey, you might have lucked up. But otherwise, that's what, that's what the issue is. He hasn't forgotten that rejection, you know. And some guys, they get it. They be in dog mode. But I'm just saying what it is, all right? So anyway, that's all I got, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.